Hey, what's up everybody? In this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna show you two methods I use to rig up bait for sturgeon fishing. The two types of bait I will be using is fresh caught crappie as well as frozen mort or rainbow trout fingerling. Both of these methods have their pros and cons and have proven super effective for us catching sturgeon. If you're looking for a video on how to rig up bait to help you connect with these aquatic dinos, this is the video for you. Many fish species have an amazing sense of smell. For that reason, I choose to wear gloves to remove my human scent from the bait and hopefully give myself that much more of an edge against any wary sturgeon. If you're looking for a video on how to tie a sturgeon leader, be sure to check out my other video at the end of this video. Link to the video can be found in the description as well. For the first method, I take a 9 knot barbless gamagatsu octopus hook and hook the mort behind the head in the soft neck area. I then push the hook backwards towards the mort's head and push the hook back through the skull of the bait fish. That way, the hook has something to hold on to. You'll then twist the line in your hand into a half hitch, which you'll then push over the mort. You'll repeat this half hitch step several times until you're satisfied with how the mort looks. The purpose for half hitching the bait is so that the line will help hold the mort on the hook. The half hitch part can be a little confusing. One of my favorite aspects of fishing is that I'm always learning something new. The best thing you can do before you get out is practice until you get the desired result you want. So I'll typically half hitch a bait fish this size maybe three to four times. It's purely up to you. It's whatever you feel is best. I'll then take an elastic thread and wrap the mort many times to help hold the soft bait together on the hook. I like to be systematic about my wraps. I'll typically start at the head of the fish and work my way down towards the tail. Once finished wrapping with elastic thread, the mort should resemble a cigar. Once I have finished wrapping the mort with elastic string, I then take my favorite scent and inject the mort to give it that much more of an appeal to any hungry sturgeon. I'll inject around the neck, belly, and anal areas of the mort. Injecting the bait like this will slowly release scent into the water continually, hopefully attracting a willing sturgeon. When you're finished, you should have a fish cigar on the end of your hook. Sometimes mort is a little rotten, so really be careful when you're injecting. Don't do too much pressure because you might blow out the side of the fish. So one big pro that Mort has is that they are streamlined and they won't blow around in the current as much as a piece of crappie will. A big con to using Mort is that rebaiting quickly becomes a chore when you're replacing bait every hour, especially if it's cold. The second method, which is my preferred method, is using a piece of fresh caught, fresh cut crappie as bait. Depending on the size of the crappie, you can typically get three pieces of bait out of the fish. I cut my crappie around the anal area as well as behind the pectoral fin or behind the gill flap. Because crappie is not as streamlined as more, I will take a pair of kitchen shears and cut off the fins of the crappie. That way, there is less surface area for the current of the stream to push against and blow your piece of bait around in the current. From what I understand, sturgeon are bottom feeders. If your bait is blowing around four or five feet up in the water column, the sturgeon may not find it. So do yourself a favor and cut the fins off. I highly advise that you push your hook through the backbone side of the bait. That way there's more muscle, tendon, and bone for the hook to hold onto so your bait doesn't pull off when you cast it or when a fish strikes it. This next step is very important. I will then take a piece of small surgical tubing that I cut and push it onto the point of the hook. This piece of surgical tubing will then act as a bait stop to prevent the bait from blowing off in the current or when you cast it. This piece of tubing makes it extremely easy to replace the bait when needed. I have two reasons for using crappie over mort. Reason number one, 
crappie will typically be fresher and potentially more effective than mort simply because you went out and caught it fresh. Reason number two, you can replace a piece of crappie in a few seconds, whereas mort takes a little longer. When the bite is hot, you want to keep your bait in the water. Anyways, hey, I hope you all enjoyed this quick video tutorial. If you did, if you could please subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would mean the world to me. Subscribing is free and only takes a second to hit the subscribe button. If you're looking for more videos on how to set up a sturgeon pole and what tackle to use, be sure to check out my other videos. Again, everybody, hey, thanks for watching. Stay safe and tight lines.